You can find this uh, tutorial on GitHub. Uh, GitHub is a, a web page to share code uh, and collaborate with others. I've uploaded all the code and all necessary information uh, on my um, on my GitHub page, Konstantin Schellenberg, in the folder EO College Slangbosch. Bush encroachment is a global phenomenon. Uh, it has been observed uh, throughout all countries in semi-arid ecosystems, for example, South Africa. Um, bush encroachment um, means the expansion of woody plants into grasslands, which have uh, before um, yeah, covered only with grasslands. Um, the drivers of that um, encroachment is still under debate and varies um, between countries and areas. For example, um, the rising CO2 level um, leads to CO2 fertilization that makes woody plants more compatible um, in, in contrast to grasslands, so that woody plants uh, domin like start dominating that, these areas. On the right hand side, we see a subset um, of um, the South African study area. We see the the bushes in the in the western part and this site has been encroached within 10 years of time which is quite slow in that area and the other parts we can still see grasslands another driver are the extinction of large herbivores in africa this is the um regional extinction of for example elephants or rhinos uh, which are known to to eat these woody plants and another driver are changes in the fire regime and land, land use changes so we can see all these drivers are somehow related to human activities some are really local some are global in this tutorial um, we will analyze the slangbosch uh, encroachment in south africa slangbosch is a plant only endemic to South Africa, but has been found to invade into uh, native ecosystems, grassland ecosystems. Um, for example, in the area, in the province of Free State. This tutorial is situated between the towns of Ladybrand and Tabachnu um, on the border to Lesotho. The area is covered with uh, a mixture of rangeland, which is partly pasture, used for livestock breeding, and partly uh, still pristine grasslands and cultivated area for agricultural crops, for example. Now we can see the changing ecosystem in a subset of that area uh, between 2016 and 2021. As we can see, we have rapid changes in, on different land plots. We can see, uh, for example, black stripes and black areas. These are burned areas, uh, and burning is uh, one of the major control measures the people at site use for um, tackling bush encroachment and making these areas uh, free again from uh, from bushes here we can see different images of slangbosch uh, from the plant the top left um, that have these long you know snake-like uh, flowers to um, large landscapes covered with this bush on the right hand side we see control measures the local people use, for example, take them off manually and firing them on, on piles or burning whole uh, plots of land, really large areas. The goal of this tutorial would be to understand the problem on, in, of bush encroachment mapping in savanna ecosystems on the example of um, South Africa and to familiarize with machine learning for earth observation data. Thirdly, to understand the dimensionality of spatial temporal data and 
at forth to conduct a validated spatial classification model. Thank you.